Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad you're here for this exciting event. My name is Barry Drake, and I'm the associate head of school here at the Fairmont Prep. I am pleased to welcome you to the 2023 commencement ceremony of Fairmont Private Academy. Before we begin this evening, a couple reminders. Please, if you would silence all of your cell phones and any other electronic devices. We see a few balloons out there. If you have balloons, if you could just bring them down or just be cognizant of the people sitting behind you, we would really appreciate it. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. I invite you to please stand for the procession of the seniors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the singing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the class of 2023. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do it several times tonight, but let's hear it for these amazing graduates up front. I would now like to invite our ASB president, Ethan Liu, to the podium to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the prep choir and chamber ensemble who will perform the national anthem. Ethan. All right, thank you, Mr. Drake. And before I do the pledge, I just wanted to end our senior, way, our senior year the way that we started the senior year. And I don't know if you guys have heard of this social media, but it's called Be Real. I am six hours late, but I would just love to take one last burrito with you guys. So, gee, uh, cheese, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, everyone standing, please place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. It is now my great honor to invite the Fairmont Preparatory Academy's amazing head of school, Karen Lucia, to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Drake, and to think we were a little concerned that the weather would keep our audience a little too quiet. I would like to echo Mr. Drake's welcome tonight. We are so excited to have everyone here. I want to take one minute, though, and thank our Fairmont dignitaries, Mr. David Jackson, Mr. Chad Jackson, Ms. Mary Jane Miller, Ms. Elaine Cohen. I see some of our heads of school out here and some other faculty and staff from the different campuses. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us tonight. 
As I stand here today addressing you, the class of 2023, I cannot help but marvel at your tenacity, determination, and strength. You have accomplished something that few others have ever had to contend with, experiencing high school during and after a global pandemic. You navigated through lockdowns, remote learning, social distancing, and missed out on many traditional rites of passage that marked the first two years of high school. But despite it all, you persevered. As freshmen and sophomores, you exhibited incredible grit and resourcefulness. As juniors and seniors, you embraced a return to normalcy, and in doing so, you showed us all what true joy looks like. You took advantage of every activity and every opportunity to connect with each other, which reminded us all of the importance of face-to-face -face interactions and relationships. But I want to tell you what I will remember most about you, class of 2023. What I will remember is the remarkable transformation you have brought upon our school community. Throughout your time here, you have been the torchbearers of inclusivity, igniting a profound cultural shift that has left an indelible mark on our institution. By embracing diversity, empathy, and respect, you have shattered barriers, challenged stereotypes, and created a nurturing environment where every student feels valued, heard, and celebrate it for their unique identities. Your unwavering commitment to inclusivity has forever changed the fabric of our school. And as you embark on your future and journeys, I ask you to continue to be the catalyst for positive change so that you can help be a change this country to make it an inclusive place for everyone. To our families and graduates, thank you for your support for trusting us with, your education, with the other education of your children. Your guidance and encouragement have played an important role in shaping these young adults into the amazing individuals they are today. And of course, to my faculty and staff of Fairmont Prep, we remain incredibly grateful for all you have done for these students in creating an environment where they, strive, where they thrived. Thank you both very much. And finally, to my graduates. I want you to enjoy this ceremony, and my final words to you are, well done. Thank you. And I'm gonna introduce Jeff. <laughs> now it is my pleasure to introduce the head of learning and learning infrastructure, Mr. Chad Jackson. I forgive you, Carolyn. I know she's not 100%, so the fact that she's even here today is, a, is, a, is really for you guys, for you students. Now, I prepared tonight's remarks probably a month or two ago. However, my recent participation at the Senior Awards Assembly and in several of the other graduation activities of the past week or so. After that, I, I tore up those remarks. And I st instead <clears throat> want to ask a question. What is a Husky? Now, 30 years ago, eh, they're laughing at me. <laughs> 30 years ago, in 1993, Fairmont Prep Academy founder David R. Jackson embarked on a journey to discover the answer to that very question. His dream to build a school which would continue the Fairmont eighth graders' elevated trajectory, transforming them into young adults prepared for the rigorous requirements of top universities, empowered with character and shrouded with wisdom. A student who believes in oneself knows their abilities, appreciates the arts, excels athletic, at athletic pursuits, serves humanity, and is kind and inclusive. An individual who isn't concerned about fitting in with the crowd and willing to stand alone if needed. That was his vision. 
Now, I have had this year the amazing ability to gain new insight into this microcosm that we call Fairmont Prep. Like an experiment of sorts, one of your peers tonight transferred to this school this year, their senior year, something which I had encouraged, of course, a risky proposition for a senior, to enter a school at the end of high school, a school where most students have attended four years, where many students have matriculated from our three feeder schools, and where some have even been together since preschool. To attempt to fit in, to find a group, a niche, not only did this senior find a place, but so many of you, class of 2023, embraced and made this student a member of your community, a Husky. There are other similar examples with this class. You embody these very character traits that my father envisioned. You have achieved those. You are true Huskies, I am proud to say. Of course, <clears throat> Fairmont's programs, curriculum, amazing faculty and staff can't take all of the credit for this as the ingredients were already there. You parents had done your part, establishing, guiding, and molding with such outstanding results. Now these speeches are typically opportunities to pass along some sage advice that will help you navigate college and life. But I stand before you incapable of accomplishing that, wondering if it's even necessary. All of those things that I could say, I already have observed in you, in your character, and I think it's a safe bet that you will continue to find that success because of who you are. And I'm lucky to have known you. Which brings me back to my original question. What is a Husky? You are Huskies. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you, Ms. Lucia. The Prep Concert Choir will now sing You'll Never Walk Alone with Climb Every Mountain from the Broadway musicals Carousel and the Sound of Music, arranged by Mark Hayes. Both songs are written by Oscar Hammerstein, and they are themed as an inspirational piece to encourage people, to encourage graduates to take every step towards attaining their dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Prep Concert Choir under the direction of Ashley Song.
applause to the prep concert choir. Can we give them one more round of applause? Because that was really wonderful. Now, you may have noticed in the graduation program that the name of tonight's keynote speaker is not listed. And I'm going to be honest with you, this was done intentionally as, quite frankly, we wanted to keep it a surprise. Our keynote speaker has a wealth of knowledge about this graduating class and the 14 classes before, as she has been a teacher here at the prep for 15 years. Before I invite her up here, though, let me sing her praises just a bit. Our keynote speaker received her undergraduate degree from UC Irvine and her master's degree from Stanford University. After graduation, she worked as a senior clinical research associate at BD Biosciences in the Bay Area. During the height of the AIDS crisis, our keynote developed the product BD Facts, which is a lysine solution which is intended for lysine red blood cells following direct immunofluorescent staining of human peripheral blood cells with monoclonal antibiotics prior to flow cytometric analysis. <laughs> or, in language that I can understand, this product breaks down the red blood cells while keeping the white blood cells intact so that when looking at viruses or diseases, scientists and doctors can count white blood cells so much more accurately and easily. But anyway you say it, I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is a life-changing accomplishment. While raising her two children, she often volunteered to run science labs at their schools and found herself hooked on her child, on, the, on her students' excitements and look of it, comprehension when they, as they discovered science. It was then she realized that teaching was her path. Her dedication to teaching and scientific research have not gone unnoticed. Included in her many accolades are being awarded the Intel Science Talent Search Research Teacher, Spotlight on educa Educator Awards by the Women's Division of the Anaheim Chamber of Commerce, and she was also named one of the top 10 educators by OC Parenting Magazine. She is responsible for merging the engineering magnet and medical magnet into the nationally recognized advanced science and engineering program, and along the way developed curriculum for new courses such as bioengineering and mythologies in science and engineering. The program and her curriculum have served as models for schools throughout Southern California who attempt to replicate this unique offering. However, tonight's keynote speaker is much more than just a passionate educator and researcher. She is a mother, grandmother, daughter, wife, and sister. She is also a self-described big nerd who loves science fiction and fantasy. Do you know who I'm talking about yet? A compassionate educator, and mentor who has had tremendous impact on too many students to count. Tonight marks her last prep graduation as we have, are finally letting her retire. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the 2023 keynote speaker, Jaya Leslie. Oh, let's keep the round of applause coming until she gets up here. Yeah. All right, girlfriend. Enjoy. Thank you, Ms. Lucia, for that amazing introduction. Uh, all I have to say right now is, wow. That's what my grandson says. Wow. You all look amazing, graduates. So congratulations. Class of 2023, my fellow faculty, staff, and honored guests. I am so very honored and humbled to have the opportunity to address you at tonight's commencement ceremonies. I have had the profound privilege of, of being a line leader for every year that I've been at the prep, and thank you for allowing me to, to be one once again. So having said that, sitting through quite a few graduations, I will keep this short. Class of 2023, this is your graduation and your commencement. 
you are at a very unique juncture in your lives where you can both reflect back on as well as plan for the future. Let's start with a little reminiscence. I won't spend a lot of time thinking about what we all went through during a global pandemic. However, what I would like to say is this one thing. Graduates, it's important to recognize that because of the compassion, the sincere dedication to learning from the administration, the faculty, and the staff at the prep, that you are sitting here today with an essentially uninterrupted education. So I'd like you to reflect on this. The big problems are solved with empathy coupled with meaningful action. Later, when we all returned back to campus, we went from digital to actual interactions. I remember seeing you in the hallways early in the morning, Leo's wave in the morning every day. Uh, I remember seeing you on the gym, in the gym, on the fields, practicing, getting on and off buses. Even if you were that senior who was saying all year long, oh my gosh, I am so ready to leave, those interactions that you had with the teachers, with the prep, with everybody there, those human interactions will stay with you forever. So I'd like you to think about this. Recognize the importance of the human interaction. There is a concept, yeah, and you thought you weren't going to learn, right? There's this concept in biology called interdependence. That means that organisms need other organisms to survive. Life needs life to survive. Graduates, we as your faculty have seen you grow so much whether you came to us as an international student, a transfer student, or you started as a pre-K Fairmont student. You all came to the prep a little unsure of yourselves, maybe unsure about the way things work, maybe unsure about whether or not you'd be successful. Well, let me tell you from where I'm standing here today and with my experience, you are all successful. Think about it. You've gained new knowledge. You've learned new ways of thinking. You've learned how to solve problems. You've met new people. You've made new friends, and you've persevered. And really think about it, aren't those the hallmarks of success? So as you go forward, take your knowledge, add to it, solve problems, inspire others, help others. That is success. Oh, and along the way, don't forget to do this, because I do this a lot, turn on some music and dance and have fun. I'll end here with one last lesson for you. Yep, I know you thought you were done with, with formal lessons from teachers of the prep, but just indulge me this one last time. You see, in statistics, there's this thing called chi-squared. Some of you might be familiar with that. Chi-squared evaluates the difference between what is expected and what is observed. And you know, sometimes in life, like in science experiments, they're not the same. What is expected is not what's observed. But you know what? That's OK. The scientist knows that when observations don't meet expectations, that's not failure. That gives you the opportunity to pause and to reflect and maybe reevaluate preconceived notions. Your life is your experiment. Plan it wisely. Put in controls. Reflect on the process. And that's success. All right, that was your last formal lesson from a teacher at the prep, class of 2023. This is the end of one part of your journey, but just the beginning of the next part of your journey. So now, as you sit at this momentary pause at the end of one walk and get ready to take another across the stage, know that we cannot thank you enough for allowing us to walk alongside you for this brief moment in your journey. I wish you all the best as you continue your experiments in life. Now, commence your future, knowing that as you graduate, we will always be behind you. Class of 2023, congratulations. Go Huskies.
Thank you so much, Mrs. Leslie. That was, that was just amazing. Thank you, thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce someone I've had the pleasure of working with for the last 25 years. He is a visionary leader whose love of Fairmont schools is surpassed only by his love for Fairmont students. Our chairman, Mr. David Jackson. Good evening, graduates, faculty, friends, and staff. I'm going to do a little bit of drifting off, and I've hardly ever done this before. Um, <laughs> Leslie didn't help me with the emotional feelings that I'm having, and neither did the rest of you. This has been a little different year for me. Um, I've been involved with Fairmont for over 64 years, and as been said, I do have a little bit of passion for this place and an extreme amount of passion for the students and the faculty and you parents. I also want to maybe embarrass somebody else. I don't think I say it enough, but my son Chad Jackson, listening to his talk tonight, listening to his talk last night at SJC, just showed me he went to Fairmont too. And I got to give the credit for you teachers and others that helped teach him and teach you to where he's able to do the things that he's doing and do it in such an outstanding way. I use the word pride a lot. And my pride for him right now is exceptional. And I, I'd like you to ask me to, I saw somebody play to go ahead and do it. He's done a fantastic job for so many different years, both as a student, as a teacher, and, and now as an administrator. He mentioned the, a lot of the different activities, and one in particular was the award ceremony for the seniors. I can't believe that each year, after all these years that I go to all these events, and I still continue to get blown away at your accomplishments of what you do and how you're able to do it. I told somebody that I talked to this morning about Fairmont and said, something you need to understand. I went all the way through public schools. I didn't get to go to a private school. I didn't get to go to Fairmont. And I didn't realize the huge difference until I took over running Fairmont and got the chance and opportunity and requirement to go through and sit in on your classes. And not only did I see some exceptional teaching in that, but I saw exceptional students and the, the culture here of exceptionalism is exceptional. And I am just so incredibly proud. What you guys do is just amazing and that's why I look so forward to trying to reach you on your birthdays over the next several years. And I hope that somehow we figured a way to send you my phone number so you can put it in your phone. So when I do call, you can either look at it and say, oh, it's Mr. Jackson, I'll answer it. If they, oh shoot, it's Mr. Jackson, I'll, I'll ignore it. I really look forward to that because I love to hear your stories, both of how you feel and you realize Wow, mom and dad weren't so bad after all. They were pretty fantastic. And my teachers were truly amazing and the school was just fantastic. And my friends were just amazing. And you really get a chance to see what your life has really been like and to know what your future can really be like. So I wanna get back into my talk that I did plan. So I know that you're gonna be heading off to some of the top colleges in the world and the thing that I'm so proud of is you're going to be heading off there so prepared that I can make a statement of, I know that when you go, you will not only be successful and more successful than you and most everybody else and your peers out there from other schools are going to see, but you're going to have more fun. That's what I hear from all of you. College is not just fun. It's a lot of work but you will have more fun than most of your peers because you're so prepared and you're able to do things. You have a greater understanding of 
time management and how to do it. You've learned that at Fairmont from preschool all the way through your senior year here. And I couldn't be prouder of you teachers that are throughout here that have done that for your students. And you parents that have helped in, ingrain that into them also. I've had the great honor, uh, like I said, I've been involved with Fairmont for, for 64 years. And that did start when I was just a young man of 14. But uh, <clears throat> for the last 44 years, I've been able to speak at the eighth grade and high school and even preschool graduations. And I've loved every one of them. And I'm so happy that I'm going to be able to continue this tradition. And as far as I'm concerned, I plan on continuing this tradition for a lot more years of recognizing our legacy students. I want to recognize all of you, but I especially love recognizing the legacy students. These are the students who have grown up before our own very eyes, beginning their time at Fairmont, starting in preschool, starting in kindergarten, elementary school, and junior high. So as I announce the grade level, if you're trying to think back and say, OK, this is when I started, if you'll stand, then we can recognize you, and then remain standing until I get the whole group standing. So those of you that started with us in preschool, would you please stand? You looked really cute and beautiful then, and you look even cuter and more beautiful now. Those of you that joined us in kindergarten, would you please stand? First graders, please join us. Our first grade started. <laughs> Second grade. OK, let's third through fifth grade that joined us. Those of you that joined in junior high, sixth, seventh, and eighth. That is fantastic. OK. The rest of you that joined us in high school, would you please now stand? What an incredible group. Thank you all so much. You can be seated. Now for my second tradition. And I used to lead it off with, I hope that it doesn't embarrass too many of you. I've had the chance to get a lot of the stories from your teachers, your coaches, and your administrators. It seems like they're getting less and less willing to give some of the really funny, cute, embarrassing things. So there's not as much. But it's still my joy to be able to share some of these. And I wish I could share others. Somebody said, well, what happens if you don't share them all? I said, everybody will be happier because they'll be here all night if I share them all. So I'd like to start with Kian Amenian. <laughs> Mr. Clovis said you were always taller than the others in your class, and you have become a beast in your sport. I see why you chose the regatta. You needed a boat long enough for you to fit in. Princeton is lucky to have you. John Boyer, I heard from Mr. Clovis also that you were a mature, very, you were very mature at a very young age. You've always been a real gentleman. I hope and pray that you will stay that, way, that wonderful gentleman, and I understand that you have, so keep it up. You'll have an exceptional life as you do. <clears throat> Kaylin Gart Cartel. Mrs. Lugo always remembered your passion for design and still has the plants and wooden tray you brought when you remodeled the decor in her office. What a great passion and skill to possess. I would like to talk to you afterwards because I think I have some designs that I would like to have you help me out with. So please see me after and give me your number. So especially once you graduate, we can give you the opportunity. Congratulations again. <laughs> Courtney Bowie. Your first grade teacher, Mrs. Spinella, shared how excited you were to take a trip to the library to check out your first book. 
Then you went every day. You loved it and you loved language. It was no surprise from any of us that you're going to study linguistic anthropology at Yale next fall. <laughs> Mrs. Luckham, your fourth grade teacher, said when you won her word master's highest score contest, you turned down the special treat that she had, that she had offered you and asked if you could just teach the written lesson to, your, to her classmates. I never did hear how the classmates uh, liked that. Did they like it? It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are here. Deep Dodd. <laughs> I think some of them, I know some other stories I wish they would have told me. I hear you have a way with words. I believe Mrs. De Leon said you shared thoughts came to be known as deep thoughts with deep. Wow, that is an amazing and truly amazing. It sounds so deep to me too. Good luck with everything you do. Keat, in first grade at HAC, Mrs. Spinella had 13 boys and only two girls in her class. And she told you two girls, you will have to be extra vocal and assertive in class if you're going to stand out since you are so outnumbered. You were very quiet and reserved, but boy, did you ever stand out. Your effort in everything, especially academically, earned you the title of valedictorian in eighth grade and again this year at the prep. Matt Sona, quote, fits you so well. A loud mind is greater than a loud mouth. I know you will really go places. <laughs> Brianna, or Bree as everyone knows you, you were just as unique and creative and funny in junior high at our Anaheim Hills campus as you have been at the prep, Mr. Arroyo said. Your passion for art, music, and theater were evident at uh, Anaheim Hills. And the play you wrote and directed at the prep was so very impressive. I really enjoyed it and so did so many others. Congratulations on that. Samir. Your elementary teachers said you were a little Miss Sunshine and were always able to brighten up things in the room as soon as you walked in. But don't worry, I came prepared to be able to handle it in front of you. It's, it's been hurting my eyes ever since I got here, but thank you for all that you do. I have one last from Mrs. O'Hanlon, our drama coach at the historic Anaheim campus. She reflected on a group of you graduates. I would like to go down memory lane with her and her junior high drama class. Watching them play and bring ridiculous characters to life was a true joy. Who could forget Dennis New, no, as the Green Lantern in our superheroes? and elderly actor Albert Danish in Jungle Boogie with Derek Kim's brilliant performance of Leslie Mackwell's. Robert Mendoza showing off his comic timing playing dad in absolutely true story. And how could you forget Kieran Basson being eaten by sharks and still sharing her immense talent Great times with a fantastic class. I think maybe we might see some of you at the Academy Awards in the future. I'm counting on that, and I would like an invitation when you do, okay? I hope and pray that you will stay in touch. Oops, I can't handle that. You guys all shine so well. I hope and pray that you will continue to stay in touch with each other as you are here, and that you will continue to Show your parents how much you appreciate everything that they've given you over all these years and that you'll get the chance to pay it back in so many different ways in the way that you're able to help others, help people, help your families, help your, your colleagues in 
school and in work and everything you do, I know that you will make a difference in this world because you are different and so fantastic. So thank you for being a part of Fairmont and being a part of my life for all these years. I love you and I send you forth to go out and, and learn more and serve and do the best you can. Thank you and God bless all of you. The next song is an annual Fairmont Prep Academy graduation tradition. Time to say goodbye. Once again, sung by the Prep Concert Choir. <clears throat>
Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my absolute pleasure to introduce our valedictorian, a shiny example of academic excellence and steadfast determination, Keat Lam Nguyen. Throughout her high school journey, Keat has consistently demonstrated an insatiable thirst for knowledge, surpassing expectation, and inspiring all of us along the way. With her remarkable achievements, genuine compassion, and quiet confidence, Keat Wynn embodies the very essence of a valedictorian. A lifelong Fairmont student from our historic Anaheim campus, Keat joined our advanced science and engineering program and challenged herself early on to focus on the process of learning along with delivering excellent results. While her academic outcomes are outstanding, it's the way that she has come about them that is even more impressive, showcasing growth and maturity mixed with a sly sense of humor. These traits were showcased outside the classroom as well. This past summer, she interned at Boeing, earning rave reviews from all of her supervisors. Last year, Keat, along with other AS ASEP students, entered the Engineering World Health Design Competition. Serving as the group's co-founder, co-leader, sorry, Keat used the CAD program to design a model that improved the security and safety of oxygen tanks in Uganda, earning the first place award. Additionally, Keat was on the honors team in academic decathlon, was student of the year in six subjects, is a national merit finalist, a national AP scholar with distinction, is a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the National Arts Honor Society, and was president of our own science club. And if that she didn't have enough to keep her busy, she also played varsity tennis for four years and is an accomplished visual artist and piano player. Keat Wynn is a confident and capable leader who is able to articulate the most complex concepts while amplifying the talents of those who are working with her. And that is a skill set few adults have. The mix of academic accolades in extracurricular accomplishments and respect will ensure her success as she continues her educational journey at UCLA. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the podium the valedictorian for the class of 2023, Keith Lam Nguyen. Okay, girlfriend, you got this, okay? Enjoy. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Lucia. Okay. Good evening, graduates, faculty, families, and friends. It is such an honor to be able to stand here in front of you. And I would not be here if not for the strong support system I was fortunate enough to have my past four years of high school. First, thank you to the administration, faculty, and staff members for creating such a warm, warm sorry, my cap cannot say in my head. Okay. Thank you um, to administration, faculty, and staff members for creating such a warm environment. We look forward to coming to every school day. Thank you for your bright smiles and creative greetings whenever we cross paths. Thank you to the teachers for guiding us through high school and laying the path for exploration of subjects we glimpsed and delved into through your lectures, projects, and discussions we were able to grow not only as students, but also as people, and learn so much through your classes. From what we know and what we don't know in Mrs. Leslie's classes, to how to create memorable acronyms in Mr. Russ's classes, and of course, to how to write the answers in the board in Mr. Han's math classes. Thank you to my friends for making high school more tolerable, more fun, and more enjoyable from our side tangents and conversations in classrooms, to running to class together before the bell rung or sometimes after the bell rung, and to hanging out after school and on weekends. You've helped me grow so much as a person and I was able to make the most of high school thanks to you guys. So I, for example, I now have in-depth knowledge on what F1 racing is, on anime, and on cooking. Thank you to my family for being with me through every step of high school. Thank you, mom and dad, for your unconditional love, unconditional support, 
advice, and humor, even when I made the wrong choices and didn't listen to your advice. And thank you to Kim for being the best younger sister I could ask for. I love our car rides to and from school and our late night conversations. And thank you to my whole graduating class for making my high school experience everything that it is. It wouldn't have been the same without you guys. High school, college, and life beyond is more than just school or work. It's also about the people we meet, because that's what gives life meaning, although scientists and philosophers may not agree. High school is special not just because it's a time of learning, or preparing for the college and future, and, or experiencing personal growth. It's also about nurturing connections and growing as a person through the people we meet and the memories we form with them. The people we meet are like the canvases of our high school paintings. They're a large part of our support system, just like how a canvas is the backbone of, our, of a painting. So if the people we meet are like the canvases of our paintings, what does that make the paint and the paintbrushes? From hybrid classes to teachers staying on Zoom long after classes end, we were fortunate enough to have ample opportunities amidst the pandemic. The paint that we've used for our high school paintings comes from the opportunities and resources we had access to. Similar to how artists choose which colors to create, to blend, and to add to their drawings, we can choose what we want to do with the given opportunities and we choose how we can tie those opportunities together to fit each of our own unique interests. High school is a time of exploration, of trying novel things before settling on a career path for the future. It's a time for us to see what we're good at, what we're not good at, but most, import but most importantly, what we like and dislike. That's why we're the paintbrushes of our paintings. The art pieces that we create in high school were determined by our own brushstrokes. We've created our own drawings through the people that we meet, the opportunities we chose to take, but most importantly, how we tie them together as we design our own high school painting. So now as we graduate, we can look back and applaud ourselves for how far we've come. We went from a blank canvas full of people we didn't know four years ago to a colorful filled canvas conveying all of our memories from high school, the opportunities we took and succeeded in, our plans for the future, and how much we've grown and explored the past four years. And as Mr. Duxbury likes to say, art builds on art. So we'll continue to keep meeting new people and exploring in college beyond. And even though tears may be shed today at a graduation, as we realize how much we'll miss high school, how much we'll miss each other, and what we've grown up with and gotten used to, every art piece that we create will be influenced by our past experiences and memories. They will be influenced by our time at the Preparatory Academy and as Huskies. Thank you, and congratulations once again. All right, seniors, are you ready? All right, then let me do one thing first, and then we're going to hand out some diplomas. Audience, are you ready to make some noise as well? All right. In accordance with the educational code of the state of California, I hereby certify the members of the class of 2023 as having successfully completed the course of study for the high school graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give out some diplomas. We'll now continue with the presentation of diplomas. First up, we have Aiden Zeb Ahmed. Next, we have Adam Ali. Wow. 
Morgan Alvarez. Keon Aminian. Abigian Aria. Misha Nazira Bari. Kieran Kaur Basin. Mayor Basin. Jacqueline Grace Borson. John Lawrence Boyer. Courtney Cockton Bowie. Amanda Burnley. Kaylin Cargill. Samantha Layla Chan. Aiden Choi. Christopher Koo. Griffin Carl Daigle. Andrea Dam. Lei Huan On, Jessica Dang. Kareem Debian. Oh 
Dipinder Singh Dodd. Lindsay Seo Young Yoom. Arnold Gao. Caden Maynard. Rohan Gupta. Bowen Hammer. Hazen Tai. Adrian Hu. Keith Lam Huen. Jimin Jang. Ibrahim Jawadi. Sean Kang. Derek Kim. Natalie Kim. Ryan Kim. Ella Kim. Daria Kosyanenko. Luke Lasad. Alexa Elena Lewis. Jahao Allen Lee.
Cece Yute Liu. Trey Long. Thank you. Yan Wen Lu. Ethan Lu. Isabella Margarita Martinez. Samira Mahin Marinfar. Ariston Mendoza. Robert Mendoza. Steven Mendoza. Ilya Alexandrovich Miroshnikov. <laughs> Bree Elise Murray. Dennis No. <laughs> Fung Nguyen. Ethan Nguyen. Min Nguyen. Juan Nguyen. <laughs> Bomento Leila Nguyen. Rachel Nielsen. Lauren Cho N O. Corey Oltenu. (laughs) 
Lauren Pei. Christine Pham. Ola Pietrzkowski. <laughs> Michaela Potvin. Aiden Powell. <laughs> Veronica Marie Ramirez. Daniel Ralph. <laughs> Ren Hao Hao Ryan. Jacob Reed. Ava Daniela Julieta Rule. Sayanda Salter. <laughs> Kasin Sam. Young Sail Shin <laughs> Darius Shirazi Masrur Siddiqui. Jason Simon. Gurmeet Singh. And Yonsa Smith. <laughs> Sharif Solomon. Isaiah Stewart.
Lee Hang Su. Mikey Tran. Jasmine Zong. Tu Fei Toy. Misty Twyman. Sahil Vaidya. Ricky Walker. Ichan Gladys Wong. Ian Wong. Juke Tristan Wang. Kwan Hong Wong. Michelle Wu. Conan She. Muhan Jenny Xu. <laughs> Tian Xiao Young. Tong Tong Tina Yang. <laughs> Zhenling Jackson Yang. Sumin Yo. Angela Jin Yi. Kyun Ho Yi. Leo Jagong Yo.
Jacob Zhang. Nicole Zhang. Luke Zhao Yi. And Davis Young. All right, graduates. I'm going to ask you to please stand and face your families. <laughs> All right, graduates, the tassel on your right side of your cap symbolizes your time as a student. I now ask you to move it to the left side to confirm your newfound graduate status. And yes, you can throw those caps. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you remain in your seats so we can have our graduates possess out. For the safety, we ask that you, you know, let them get through it. But one more time, can we please celebrate the class of 2023?